Hey guys, George here with Evolution Vape. Today we're going to be doing a review on the Smock X Cube 2. Man, this thing is really cool, and the first thing I got to mention is the awesome little LED you got in there. We're going to take it up to the up close and personal. I'm going to show you guys all the uh, modes, all the temperature control, all of that, the Bluetooth, the way you can adjust the LED, and all that. I'm going to show you guys the downloadable application for this and everything. But first, let's take a couple more hits. It goes from 6 watts all the way to 160 watts. And then in temperature control mode, it goes from 500 degrees Fahrenheit all the way to 315 degrees Celsius. I guess it's going to take one more hit and we'll take it down close for Jeff close and personal. Alright guys, here we are with the up close and personal with the Smock X-Cube 2. Here's the packaging for you guys. If you guys want to read the specs, you can go ahead and pause the video now. Let's go ahead and unbox it. There it is. Great packaging. Go ahead and take this out. Set that aside and see what we got on the bottom. A little pouch for the mod. Over here you have your user manual and your certificate of authenticity, as well as the warranty card, the manual. And then this is a micro USB. This is not for charging, this is for updated firmware only. And here we are. Some dimensions for you guys, 100 by 65 by 24.5. Here we have a brass 510 connection. It is spring-loaded, for those who are wondering. I mean, just the fit and finish of this device is amazing. Down here you have the micro USB for updates, some battery venting, and this device is primarily made of zinc alloy and stainless steel. These little scratches down here are my doing. It didn't come like that. It happened over time. This is the back door, held on by Ford magnets. Got the springs down here, the ribbon, Let's go and throw some batteries in here. It's five clicks of the fire button. Right here we have our battery gauge, our voltage, our puff counter, our resistance, and right here it says normal. I'll tell you guys all about that now. So let's go ahead and run through all the modes. To get into the first screen, you need to click the fire button three times. One, two, three. Now you have Bluetooth mode, LED, puffs, setting, and power. Let's go ahead and start with mode. Press and hold the fire button to select. Watt mode, temp mode, and memory mode. Start with watt mode, press and hold to select. Normal, hard, and soft. Now soft, if you to select it, it's basically just a ramp up time. If you pick soft, it's gonna be a slower ramp up time. If you pick Medium is going to be a faster ramp up time. If you pick hard, it's going to be even faster ramp up time. Five clicks to go back to the screen, menu, press and hold to select. Watt mode, select nickel. Now, single coil, dual coil, let's go and say I have a single coil. Press and hold to select. 310 degrees Celsius, then a round robins to 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's go ahead and run through that. there came around now let's go ahead and go into memory mode three clicks of the fire button memory mode now right here it's 58 watts press to select put that at 80 press and hold to select and you have 16 different memory modes 90 press and hold to select now that we're in memory mode from 58 watts it's going to go to 90 to 33 to 40 and you can fine-tune these to whatever you like but you get the idea again you have 16 different memory options let's go ahead and take it to LED now press and hold to select now right here you have RGB press and hold to select and you see that the device will light up the lower you go now we're on R the lower you go the more the color of the LED will change it's like at a 
turquoise kind of blue then go to G take that down each one of these settings go up to 255 each and it goes so on and so on I'm not really familiar with RGB myself but for those who are should be a breeze for you but I just run through it and find the color I like and select it not to select that color you just press and hold to select now fast is how fast the LED will light up the higher you go the lower the LED lights up and then slow press and hold to select there's some more options in the LED setting so let's go one two three press and hold to select we just now did RGB now we're going to go on to jump press and hold to select now it's on slow and the lower you go again the faster this device will jump through the colors press and hold to select now we got one more one two three right here we have shade press and hold to select it goes through different shades use the wattage down button to go up and go so on and so on press and hold to select now let's take it to puffs press and hold to select right now it's at never so it doesn't stop counting my puff throughout the day reset puffs yes now we're at zero puffs since we reset it three clicks of the fire button press and hold to select and this goes all the way up to 999 by the way now on to setting press and hold to select ACR time is stealth mode basically all that is is when you turn it on when you fire the device the screen will not come on but the LED will there's a way to turn off the LED I will show you guys that now LED press and hold to select and then LED off to select and now the device will not show the LED to put it back into stealth mode all you do is go to stealth off screen timeout 30 seconds now let's go ahead and take it to settings once again press hold to select contrast this goes all the way down to zero and all that does is lower the contrast of the screen got a little bit dimmer as you guys can see through the settings press hold to select bring that all the way back up setting contrast and then this just rotates the screen as you can see press and hold to select right here you have the date and time you can adjust that if you wanted and then to turn off the device you go to power press and hold to select and the device turns off Let's go ahead and show you guys the Bluetooth. Alright guys, here we are with the application. First thing you want to do is make sure that your Bluetooth is on on your device and then you go onto this application. This application is called Smart BEC. It is available on all iOS devices and Android and it is also free. First thing you need to do is you're going to make sure that your iPad or iPod or whatever device you're using has Bluetooth on. Then it will scan this automatically, execute to. Now the default password to this is six zeros. Now here we are with our screen. Give the mod a quick fire. And now it picks up all the resistance, voltage, and wattage and all that. Right here it shows we're at 50 watts. Voltage, 3.59. Atomizer is reading at 0.26, which is accurate. Uh, let's go ahead and show you guys how to change our watts. We go down here. Right here in variable power mode. That's already connected, so say I wanted to go to 160, I just scroll up to there, click the check mark up there, and watch the mod change. We're at 160 watts. Now let's take it down to 6. Click the check mark and watch the mod change. We're at 6 watts. Now to go into temperature control mode, all you do is go to temp control mode, say 600 degrees, check mark, and we're at 600 degrees Fahrenheit. Go back there. 200 degrees Fahrenheit, there we are. We can change the LED by going to settings, set LED, and right here we have a little color chart. Say we wanted like a blue, just click that and go back. Say red, click that, go back, and so on. Right here we have set password, put whatever password you want. It needs to be at least six digits. Right here we have vaporizer name, we can change it to whatever we would like. I'm going to leave mine to execute too. And then right there is like a summary of what you did with the mod. 
tells you like at what time you change the wattage and what kind of wattage you're at or temperature. And it's actually kind of cool. Let's go ahead and take it back for FaceTime for the pros and cons. And we're back. First thing I gotta mention is the fit and finish of this thing is just beautiful. The mod is so attracting to the eye. It's just an awesome device all around. The LED lights are really cool. I mean, look at that. It's crazy. I'm gonna go ahead and take it up to 160 watts just cause. 160 watts, here we go. Jesus Christ. First pro I wanna mention is the LED light and the fire switch. That thing is just really cool. Another pro I wanna mention is the options with this thing. You got Bluetooth, you got uh, temperature control mode. It just has a whole lot of stuff you could do, date and time, all that. And I really like the fact that you could really adjust this mod to whatever your liking is. Uh, that's just a pro on its own. Another pro I want to mention is the back door. It has really strong magnets on it. And that's really it for the pros. Let's go and take it to the cons now. First con I want to mention is, I mean, it's stainless steel finish. It's a fingerprint magnet. You can't help it. It's just, it happens. That's just a con on its own. The next con I want to mention is the fire switch. It's, it doesn't feel how I thought it would be. I thought it would be a lot more springier, but to me it just feels mushy and, I don't know, maybe it's just me. It could be a subjective con, but to me this button's just, it's too mushy. I just don't like the feel of this button. And it also fires just really easily. I mean, it doesn't take anything to make this thing fire. Another con I want to mention is, you guys won't really be able to see it on camera, but right in the beginning and the end of the LED light, there's these small holes. And I feel that whenever I'm dripping, you know, I'll get some juice that would leak out from my RDA onto the mod. And I'm just scared that it would go inside of those little holes and probably short out the mod, or it might just short out the LED screen or something like that. So whenever I'm dripping, I'm just extra cautious. Another con I want to mention is the accuracy of this chip. Whenever I'm at like say 50 watts on normal, it's, it doesn't read true. Like it's really like a 35 watts. To get to, to compare it to any other device at 50 watts, I would have to put this thing at like 80 watts. With a 0.2 resistance build, uh, it's just, it's untrue, I feel. It might be subjective, but I just, me personally, I don't, I don't like that. It just does not fire the way should the wattage isn't true but in temperature control very good in temp mode i really do like the that feature uh, and that's really it for the pros and cons this device is made of zinc alloy and stainless steel the price point for this device i've been seeing this online for about 80 to 100 bucks one thing i do want to mention before we close off the video is there's two new updates for this device and some people are having problems with them and some people are not. I just think I'm not sure that the two new updates are like a beta version. So I don't think they're completely finished yet. So that's why I'm gonna wait to update mine. The problems that some people are having with the update is after they would update it, the mod wouldn't work anymore or the screen would mess up and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna wait until I'm positive that the update is final. And from one to 10, I give this about a six. And that's simply because the untrue reading of the wattage and stuff. That's the only thing that's holding me back from giving this mod at least like an eight. And that's really it for the review. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to follow us on Instagram. If you guys enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. I got some more content coming out soon. Thank you guys for watching. You're not living life until you vape life.